Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite videos and it's my use up the stash slash things I want to use up. That's the same thing. Slash things I'm actively using to grow my hair out slash whatever else. These are the products I'll be using over the next few months. To really know what's happening with my hair, I would really recommend that you join the Insider Tea. I don't know what you are waiting for let me know down below what you waiting for what you're afraid of like y'all it's not just tips and tricks it's a group chat like all day every day kicking jokes like we help each other recipes celebrity gossip everything like it's just y'all interacting with me all day every day I may not be on YouTube but I'm in the insider chat on discord every single day with the girls like it's good morning good night like we're all day kicking that's where you're gonna really know the insider tea because i'm gonna be using other things behind the scenes that's just not gonna make it to youtube because i don't support the brand anymore or it's an insider tea exclusive so join us join us sis anyway let's get into it as always i would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up Give it a like it goes such a long way to support my channel and if you are new here and you've never seen my face but you like my face definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around and let's get into it it's a whole lot of products there's a whole lot of products in front of me so enough not talking let's do this i want to finish up the last little bit, I mentioned this in my last video. If you haven't seen my previous use up video, you can definitely check it out right here in the cards, um, as well as down below. This is the Dynamic Health Organic Coconut Vinegar with the Mother. I prefer using coconut vinegar, and you know, I was put on to this by Nappy Headed Jojoba many years ago, and I just prefer it over apple cider vinegar. I mix this into my henna or my cassia. With the vinegar, like I said, I mix it with my henna, so of course I'm going to be using my henna. I do my henna every six weeks or so. This is the one from Curly Proverbs. This is their Stro Stro ah, Pro Strength Henna. I have used this before. Amazing quality. I recommend this. This is a high quality henna. It's going to be one of the best hennas on the market that you'll ever get your hands on. And it's so good. I also want to use up my Rasul Clay. I'm, I love Rasul Clay. I swear by it. This one is almost done. It's just it's down here. I will link as much as I can the items that I'm mentioning down below so you can check them out purchase whatever per usual clicking my links does support my channel and it goes such a long way to keep this channel going and I love you forever okay so I'm gonna mix my rasul clay with my cocoa powder like this combination is amazing I did a DIY uh, an exclusive DIY for the insider tea if you haven't seen that DIY is because you're not in the insider tea and you need to join this combination like my hair just looked so dang good and the girls have tried it and the girls love it too so if you want to know how I use cocoa powder and rasul clay for an amazing clay mask you need to join the insider tea sis you just have to you just have to like amazing now let's go into pre poos it should be no surprise I will continue to use my rice water this is actually a new recipe that's that should be in the insider tea by the time this video goes up and if not it's going to be coming to the insider tea it's only gonna be in the insider tea like just look how dark have you ever seen rice water so rich and dark before like it just looks so thick and dark so I also put it into my spray bottle but yes this new rice water recipe so softening so moisturizing no surprise i'll be using my shea amla and fenugreek caramel treatment i've talked about this several times on my channel this is another insider tea exclusive like it's just it's just so oh, it's just so good i like my kind of runny you can make it as thick or as loose as you want it's a diy but this just makes your hair feel so good it brings the shine there's fenugreek shea bay um, ashwagandha aloe vera juice rice like 
Just bomb, y'all. Just bomb. I've been using this for months at this point and so good. Another people that I'm enjoying is this one from HH Cosmetics. This is their moisturizing thickening gel. I do have a dedicated video on HH Cosmetics. It's a Dutch based company. Love their products. I'm obsessed with their products. Like just so amazing. If you haven't seen that video, definitely recommend you check it out right here. Like this product is so freaking good. Like you'll get all the deets. So I want to use this up as well. And then lastly for pre-poos, it's not really a pre-poo, it's a bond builder. But I, but I apply it on dry hair. This is the Olaplex number three, no surprise. I've talked about this several times on my channel. It's kind of bright, but that's okay. Um, even when I'm not talking about this, I use this. I attribute a lot of just the elasticity in my curls to Olaplex. My curls look amazing, and I do owe it to Olaplex, honestly, truly. Now let's go into cleansers. I have two shampoos in front of me, and I'm not gonna go through much shampoo. I don't go through shampoo that often, but I love these shampoos. The first one is the HH Cosmetics African Black Soap Clarifying Moisturizing Shampoo. Again, I've talked about this on my channel. Even though the video is sponsored, even though that video was sponsored, this video is not sponsored. I love this shampoo. It's the very best African black soap shampoo I've ever used. So freaking moisturizing. So moisturizing. So amazing. And the answer is yes. Um, it applies like a conditioner, like a co-wash. When you rinse it out, you feel like it's a shampoo. It's such a unique formula, but I fangirled about this enough, so I'm gonna be using her up. I also have the main choice, the Tangling Hydration Shampoo, which I've been trying to use up for a while, and I'm halfway done with it. It takes a lot for me to go through shampoo because I don't use shampoo that often, but I'm getting through her, and I think the formula has changed, so I'm just gonna use her up, and that'll be it. I have some co-washes that I want to use up. The first, no surprise, is a Henna Su Cleansing Conditioning Co-wash. I've talked about this product so many times, and I love it. Such an amazing co-wash. Ayurvedic ingredients, affordable, even like regular price. Regular price is affordable. You can save 15% off with the coupon code BCLH15. So it goes from like a $12 co-wash to like a $10 one. And it's just so affordable, so good. Highly recommend this. I also have been loving and using the Eden Body Works Lavender Aloe Moisturizing Co-wash. If you've tried the papaya caster, I think they're pretty much the same formula. I haven't compared the ingredients because I don't care. <laughs> I just know it's good and I love it. I've already used like half of it because I, I wash my hair every week. Whether I bring that video to YouTube, I do wash my video. I do wash my hair every single week and I do wash the reviews in the insider tea. So even when I'm not here, every week i'm in the insider tea reviewing products so they've already they already know i love this and then lastly i have the eden body works uh what is it not a, not a coconut co-wash the cleansing co-wash um it's the one that comes in the jar i'll put a picture but i have this bottle and i have like three of them because one of my subscribers hey boo she sent me two of she sent me two and i already had one so i just decided to just put it into a big bottle and make it a salon size so that's what i did and this sits in the shower Every time I want to use it, I can use it, and then Richmond can use it too. I don't feel guilty about it because I'm like, baby, you can't use my expensive products, baby. And then lastly for cleansing, it's the Sorenzo Beauty Fenugreek and Rice Water Clay Wash. And that's what this looks like. Um, I do have a coupon code with Sorenzo. It is BCLH20, where you can save 20% off. The first time I, I used this, I liked it. The second time I used it, which was recently, I loved it. I was upset. Best. Even though it's only 10 ounces, I've already used this twice and I still have two more uses. Traditionally, I would finish this. I usually finish clay washes like an 8 ounce in two uses. This spreads, it actually lathers because there's a shampoo base in it. But don't let the shampoo base like make you afraid. It, I was definitely afraid. I was like, shampoo base? Oh, it's going to be so stripping. Nah, it's moisturizing. It feels like a, a cleansing co-wash. It just feels so softening on the hair. And there's fenugreek in it. There's rice water. Two of my favorite things. The answer is yes. They have multiple clay washes. I know there's one with chocolate and marshmallow. One of the girls in the insider tea, Tasha, she recommended that one. That one. She was like, girl, if you love this, you're going to love that one. So I'm going to go out and get that. I ain't talk to my <laughs> Let's get into one rinse out conditioner that I want to use. I don't think I'm going to use it up because I don't go through rinse out conditioners very often, but I have her and I usually use rinse out conditioners to like rinse out my head. 
henna treatments on my Ayurvedic mask. This is the Dr. Teal's Essential Conditioner, the Tea Tree and Peppermint. I talked about this last year, and this is definitely a great rinse out conditioner, one of the best in the drugstore. I've used it twice, and I think I have like one or two more uses, and I use a lot of rinse out conditioner, and this is a good time. Highly recommend this. You probably don't even know Dr. Teal's got a conditioner, but they do, and it's actually great. I have two deep conditioners to use up. No, real tea, I have a lot of deep conditioners to use up. I'm looking at a bunch of deep conditioners from companies that I no longer share on my channel, and I talk about why, and we go into it in Insider Tea. So if you want to be nosy, you can definitely go to Insider Tea, and we can talk about it. The brands I'm willing to share on my channel is the main choice, Deep Strengthening and Restorative Mask. This, I think, has been reformulated, so I'm just trying to use it up. At one point in 2020, it was a staple, um, and this is the last one that I have, and it's just time to let her go, unfortunately. All right, pizza, a real one, but, like, y'all know. Y'all know I love this. Y'all know I love this. Secondly, I've already used it. I've used it once and I still have some left because it's 12 ounces. This is the Mish Strengthen Protein Deep Conditioner. For me, this is not a strengthening deep conditioner. It's not even, to me, a moisture protein balancing deep conditioner. For me, this is a straight up moisturizing deep conditioner. I really don't like the marketing behind this product, which I've said before in my initial Mish video. If you haven't seen it, two protein products that I want to use up. First, this one I, I'm sure has been discontinued because I've had it since 2020. This is the True um, by May Beautiful Damage Control Repairing Deep Treatment Mask. Maybe it's still on the True website, but I know it's no longer in Sally's. This is what it looks like. And of course, I need my strong protein treatment. So I need to have my Mill Creek Botanicals Keratin Repair uh, conditioner. I've talked about this. I do have a dedicated video on this product already. You can check it out. I don't know what's going on with this. I picked this up from TJ Maxx. Like it's a big old 32 ounce for like $8. But I haven't seen it in TJ Maxx. So I'm not sure if they're no longer selling this or whatever. I know you can pick it up online. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, if you can still find the big old one, can y'all let me know and send me two? Because <laughs> I can't find this anywhere in Jersey. Let's talk about leave-ins because leave-ins is probably one of my favorite ca product categories outside of deep conditioning. Leave-in, like le the leave-in conditioner is just such an important part of, you know, the wash day. And one of the products that I that I'm that I have been using and want to use up is the Bo Peep Radiant Hibiscus Leave-In. This was sent to me by one of the girls in the Insider Tea, one of my faves, Mel. And she she literally sent me this product because she wanted to inspire me to start my own product line. And she was like, look, this is a small black owned business that loves Ayurveda, that started this brand. I want to share this with you to hopefully inspire you to start your own company. I'm sorry, it didn't work, Mel. I'm no more inspired to start my own line, but I still thank you so much for this. So I do plan to use her up. I have the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In. Definitely pick this up because of my girl, Denise Adore. She says it's a great leave-in. And Curiosity got the ray and I picked it up. And it's cool, um, not the best leave-in ever, but it's like five or six dollars. So I will definitely use her up. Of course, the HH Cosmetics Multi-Use Leave-In, which I love right now. You can use it as a deep conditioner. You can use it as a leave-in, a moisturizer, a rinse out, all the things. Like, such a good time. Such a great product. So freaking softening. I love her. And last leave-in is this one from Sorenzo Beauty. This is the Kupuasu and Seamoss Leave-In Conditioner. I usually have it like this, that's why it's like, wait, why is it stuck like this? Usually I'll always have my products like this to get them out easier. I have used this, but I honestly don't remember what I think about it, so I'm going to find out <laughs> what I think about it. Now let's go into cream slash moisturizers. I also have three in front of me. I have the Comet Biologics Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee, which I, this is supposed to be a leave-in, but honestly, I have not been impressed by moisturizers from Kemet. I love the grease. I love the oil, which I've never really talked about, but I actually do love their oil that they have. And I love the butter, but I... 
the Kennedy's Essentials Extra Moisture Hair Milk. I tried using this as a leave-in and they love it. So I'm going to try it as a moisturizer because the definition was amazing. So I think it's more of a styler for me, but we will find out. And lastly is the Natural Club Thirst Quenching Avocado Hair Moisturizer. And I was trying it as a leave-in and it was a no, so we're going to try her as a moisturizer. Now let's go into stylers. I only have one styler because honestly, I don't style my hair very much. There is a mousse that I'm trying to use up, but it's by a brand that I definitely do not support. I bought it many years ago and I still have it, but not going to talk about it on my channel. So I am using that up, but in terms of gel, I'll be using the main choice, Do It Fro, the culture product. I definitely plan to use it on my vacation. And then lastly, it's oils and like hair growth things so the first thing is the yuhuru naturals rapid biotin and msm advanced scalp therapy like i love this like i've it's halfway done i have a review on this on my channel already i will link it right here if i have more cards or down below just like to spritz it on my scalp and when i use this for a month my hair grew fast like it thickened it grew so i'm gonna stick beside her such a good time I also have to apply on my scalp the S Secrets Growth Oil. I have talked about this. I have a video on this. You can check it out in the cards as well. This is what it looks like from our very own Selena Zinchuk. I have this much left. I also have some other oils that I want to use because they've just been sitting and it's time. The Curly Proverbs product. She sent this to me back in 2021 when I first moved here. It's been a whole year and I have not tried it. I also have the Tenyo uh, Scalp Restore, which is a really great oil. It's a uh, castor oil base, which is my favorite oil for my hair growth oils. There's also red pimento in it, which is good to stimulate hair growth. And lastly, whoo, child. I have the Sorenzo Beauty Creamy Oil, which I mentioned in my favorites video. If you haven't seen my favorites video, definitely recommend you check it out. I love this oil. I've used it on my body, but I have used it on my hair, and it's down here, y'all. It's down here. I've been using it for months. This is the favorites video. It was my first time mentioning it on my channel, but I've been using this for months, and I love it, and it's almost gone. But that's it, y'all. These are the items that I will be using up. Well, that's it for now, y'all. This video has been long enough. Let me know what you're planning to use up. Let me know what products you may want reviews on. I can't guarantee it. <laughs> but if there is something that you want to know more about, definitely join the Insider Tea. But I may be inspired to bring it to YouTube. So definitely let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Peace. Love you so much. Bye, y'all.